Hello and welcome back to Anything for Views Parenting. This is part two of what seems like a never ending series that I could do, where I just show the lowest of low, which is exploiting your child for money on the internet. Yeah, it gets worse every single day. And honestly, I've been talking about this topic a lot lately on my channel and it's sort of just one of those things where the more I talk about it, the more my eyes are open, the more I start to see, the more videos I get sent, the worse that it gets. There's no end to this, it seems. And this is definitely an issue which I think a lot of people are coming around to, but there's still a long ways to go. So today specifically, I actually only wanna talk about one family in today's video. Normally I would do like a ton of different people. Today I only wanna talk about one. It's a mother who is explaining her daughter on the internet and um, let's just say she did an uh oh oopsie recently and forgot to edit out a part of her video where she is screaming at her daughter. It's a yikes, okay? It very much reminds me of when that other YouTube mommy vlogger got caught where she forgot to edit out the end part of her video where she was forcing her son to do a crying thumbnail for the video. Ah, put your hand like this, but let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. Oh, I'm actually crying. crying. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I'm actually crying. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's over, it's over. I'm gonna get into this, you know, a little bit more in my videos to come this month and maybe a little bit in this video I'll touch on it, but these children are truly trained for social media. It's so dystopian to see it happening in real time. This situation is no different, okay? The things that they are being asked to do by the parents, parents should never ask their children to do any of these things. Today I want to talk about Scarlett and Tiana. So this is a mommy and me TikTok account, which quickly rose to fame because the two of them were doing affirmations in their videos. So saying things like, I am beautiful today. I am smart. I am, you know, X, Y, Z. While we're doing your hair, let's do some affirmations. I am I am healthy. Oh. <laughs> I'm a superwoman. I am a superwoman. I am healthy. I'm healthy. I am kind. I'm kind. And just, you know, saying those things out loud and then filming it, right? Well, it sounds very sweet. And honestly, it is sweet to think that this is something that, you know, families do behind the scenes. Like, it's a great thing to teach your kids to think positively about themselves, right? Well, those quickly went viral. And now they have over 6.5 million followers on this Scarlett and Tiana Mommy and Me account. The mother is named Tiana. The daughter's name is Scarlett. But I've noticed something about these videos, and it, this is a whole separate discussion, and this would require its separate own video, honestly, this entire topic, but it's that of putting filters on your young children. Beautifying filters and face enhancing features. It, it's just, I don't find it to be appropriate, and I see it a lot on these specific videos as I was doing, you know, collecting clips for this video. This mother puts filters on her daughter, um, beautifying filters. I just find it to be extremely problematic. I can only imagine the dysphoria and the body image issues that will manifest themselves later in life, if not very soon. After, you know, seeing yourself look one way through a lens or through TikTok or whatever, and then looking in the mirror and, and having that not match what you've seen online of yourself and not being the reality. You know, th it's just extremely damaging. I, I feel like it's, it's so obvious, okay? I'm not even a parent and it's so obvious that you should never do this to kids. Like, you know, it's, it's hard enough, like I said, I always correlate to like being an adult. It's hard enough to be an adult, right? And see yourself with face filters on and see yourself look better. I'm only mentioning this also right now, by the way, to say that it's very ironic that they would go viral for affirmations about, I am beautiful. I have beautiful X, Y, Z. I have beautiful eyes. I have, and then to be putting face filters on, which you don't need. It's just ironic taking it all into consideration. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? I'll leave it there. So the mom, Tiana, tries to sell products, by the way, in these videos. And, you know, she styles her daughter's hair a lot. That's when she's like doing a lot of these affirmation videos. And she'll style her daughter's hair and like try to sell the brush to people. Like she's always trying to sell the same brush. And it's like at the bottom of every video, it says eligible for commission. Here's the link. I'm using this brush, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, this is available on TikTok shop. Like it's just very obvious. It's almost like every video it feels like. They also have a ton of 
brand partners for having Scarlett in the videos, okay? So tons of brand, brand partners, tons, right? From what I've gathered, she has literally monetized her daughter in every single possible way. There's a book coming soon. There's an obsessed with it affiliate link page for Scarlett's outfits. You could buy her outfits. Um, there's an Amazon storefront. There is a like to know it affiliate page. There is, which basically is the same as I'm obsessed with it, but just a different company, affiliate linking company. Um, a TikTok showcase shopping page. There is an option to subscribe and be a member of their TikTok live chats. That's another separate thing, but why are you allowing a, a child to be on a TikTok live where people can comment whatever they want? Why would you ever do that? It's just bad parenting. There's custom Scarlett and Tiana merch that you can buy. There is an exclusive Facebook subscriber group. Okay, we're not done. Somebody also brought this to my attention. Somebody also made a video about this. Nope, you heard that right. We are getting to the point where influencers are selling drafts with images of their children for money here on this platform. God bless us all, we are doomed. So yeah, it says, Drafts from 2020 are $8 that you can buy. So that was on Scarlett and Tiana's page, available for purchase. Drafts. What? There is also an extensive media kit that is available for brands to reach out and work with them on their numerous platforms. They've got Instagram, YouTube, they're on TikTok, they're on everything. Anything that you can imagine, they're on it. LinkedIn, I don't even know. So it's the mother who's doing all of this. Obviously, I just need to remind everybody, okay? Needless to say, this mom is now doing social media full time which also means that her daughter, who's extremely young, is also doing social media full time because they run the page together, even though she would never know how to set it up. The mom also has her own TikTok page, which has nowhere near as many followers, I just want to point out. Hello. Um, it has 380,000 and it gets a fraction of the views of the daughter's account. Okay, a fraction of the views. The daughter is getting all the views, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to come out with it. So, why are we here today? Okay, because it's like, what is, what's different about this mom? What's different about this mom? Why are we sitting here today talking about this? Well, Tiana is now under scrutiny because she recently forgot to edit out a portion of her TikTok video where she and her daughter were putting together a storage unit. Okay, it was like a storage organizer or something. I just want to mention, by the way, this item that they were putting together is currently available in their TikTok showcase page as linked as an affiliate link. Okay, so I don't know if this was for a brand deal or something or if they've been sent this product, but it definitely feels like it was. Okay, there's some financial incentive behind putting this, whatever this unit is together, okay? In the now deleted video, she can be seen yelling at her daughter for not doing her part in putting together a storage unit for TikTok. So why don't we just go ahead and watch this video together? Why not? When you become famous for doing affirmations with your daughter and empowering her, but behind the scenes, she's your puppet for content. This isn't the first time Tiana has been caught behind the scenes scolding her daughter for not performing correctly. Well, Charlotte, you haven't even done your side yet. Come on, man, do your side! Don't gotta yell! Hold it! It's still loose, dude, come on! You, they can't see you. You're covering the whole thing. Go back and come back around. And go. why this is so wrong. I understand parents getting frustrated with their kids. I understand that. I understand maybe raising your voice a little bit. I really do. But it's the reason why she's raising her voice that I have a huge fucking problem with. Huge. Because she's not performing well enough for your video. So you can go and link this product. She's not putting together furniture well enough, doing her part. What is she, like six? Why does she need to be doing this with you? Oh, it's because you need a brand deal. You want an affiliate link. You want to link, be able to link this and make money off of it. So you need her to make it seem like it's easy to put together. What the f 
wrong with people? I just need to know. This is not acceptable at all. And then did you see the part where at the end, she's like, you're not doing it right. You're blocking their view, us like the people that are watching it. She's more concerned with the people watching it who will potentially buy this product than her daughter getting in the perfect shot. What? So she goes and makes her do it again and come to the side, off to the side and put the top on together. And then did you see how she's like trained to, she like, she was like, here it is guys. We are morally bankrupt. As a society, if we allow this to continue, someone like this to slide by and do a menial apology, half done no remorse whatsoever, if we're allowing this to happen behind the scenes to the children of our society, we have issues. We really do. If this is what's going on, if this is what we care about more than our own children, we've got problems, okay? No excuse for this whatsoever. So obviously, this was a very shocking contrast from the typically happy, positive, upbeat TikTok videos that they typically post. Well, Tiana posted an apology to her own, once again, much smaller page, right? Not on the big page where everyone would be able to see it. Well, let's just watch it, why don't we? Let's watch the apology. All right, Scarlettism. So remember the other day when mommy yelled? At you when we were doing the um those little bin things yeah okay well first of all mommy was having a bad day and i want to publicly apologize you already to, you already said yes you already said sorry i know i already said sorry to you but i need to publicly apologize because mm. Mm -mm. people saw mm -mm. okay why are your hands so slippery? But I just want you to know that I'm really sorry and I'm going to work on not... I know. ...yelling. We live in hell. I'm in hell. We're in hell. This is the world we live in now. We're, we're doing public apologies, looking on the side, filming us, apologizing to our kids. Okay. I know. Love you. I'm hungry. I love you. Love you. I'm hungry. Okay. So I had already apologized to Scarlett um, for losing my temper. Um, I'm going to be completely honest right now. You know when somebody says they're about to be completely honest when they're doing an apology video that it's going to be probably not something they should say. As a single mom, it is hard. It is very hard. Um, and Okay, I just have to say this. Enough. I understand that it's hard. Right? It's the reason behind why you're mad. It has nothing to do with you being a single mother. It has nothing to do with that. And I'm sure plenty of single mothers would never do what you are doing. They would never exploit their children for cash, clown. I'm not gonna lie, I am very impatient and, um, but it's something that I'm working on now. With that said. This is an adult, by the way. Something I'm working on being patient. You're, how old are you? Seriously, you haven't figured this out? You have kids? You haven't figured out how to be patient with them? You're working on it? At what point do we stop with the excuses? Really? I don't feel like Scarlett deserved to be yelled at at that point. I, y'all have no idea how horrible I feel and felt. Um, after afterwards and the, because i'm like this is just a, so, a minor thing right now and you're yelling over a minor thing she's yelling at a minor thing it really makes you wonder and if you're working on patience and you know you have a bad temper it really makes you wonder huh doesn't it and she's six years old so she's six years old anyways she's screaming at her like that forcing her to be in videos we take videos i normally will tape them through like we'll just tape the whole thing and then we go back and edit it She's saying we go back and edit it. You edit it, fucking moron. You edit it. A six-year-old has nothing to do with the editing process. These people are fucking clowns, seriously. Clearly, I only edited the first part of it and forgot to edit the other part. I honestly feel like things happen for a reason. Like, there's a reason because I was on the plane. Things happen for a reason, huh? And I tried to, uh, tried to post it and it didn't post. And then I did it again and it posted. I truly believe that 
Things happen for a reason. Why? Why this particular thing happened? I'm not sure. I don't know if it's like maybe to help other moms. Um, Holy sh**. These people are f***ing crazy. This happened so I could help other moms. What the f*** are you helping other moms with? Helping them to exploit their children? And I love when mommy vloggers say this. The people that exploit their kids love to say, I'm doing this to help other people. How about you help your f***ing kid? How about you do that? The call's coming from inside the house. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I do know though, that if you're a mom and a single mom, you can relate to getting frustrated. When you tell your child, over and over and over and over and over again to do something. The other single moms are not asking their kids to put together a piece of furniture. My parents never asked me to put together furniture when I was six years old, by the way. Storage units for your TikTok shop. The other single parents are not doing this. They're asking their kids to put their shoes on. It's a completely different situation. She's like trying to appeal to people like, just don't fall for it. I'm sorry, just don't fall for it. Please, do not, do not. Now I'm not talking about that particular point but we had had a day that day when you're trying to be this gentle parent and be like, Scarlett, can you not do that, honey? After about the 20th time, you're gonna lose your mind. I don't care who you are, okay? So, with that said, I apologize. Yes, I have impatient, short temper whenever I am not having a good day and it's not fair to the people around me and it's something that I'm working on. It's something that I'm going to be going to counseling for after going back and watching that video. I'm like, holy crap. So anyways. These people are sick in the head. Truly, they need help. They need help bad. And I will tell y'all, it, it frustrates me that y'all are saying um, the things that you're saying because those things are not true. Um, Scarlett is in no way, shape, or form in a harmful situation with me. Um, I guess I lost my temper. You know what? I'm s it I got frustrated. Tell me this isn't convoluted. She walks into the room that her daughter is in, brings her into a hug while she's talking about this to say she's not in a harmful situation. Feels very calculated what time she comes into the room. That's all I can say. Cause she was by herself before talking about things and then she comes in the room and wants a hug from the daughter. Oh, by the way, I really like that she's mad at everybody else for the way that they're reacting to her clip of her screaming at her daughter for no reason. But at the end of the day, this girl is loved and cherished and um it's just so dystopian to see like the reflection in the mirror of her filming herself for y'all to it's okay for y'all to make it seem like it's anything other than that is not okay so y'all have an amazing day and let's all like you know, everybody's got something they got to work on. Everybody does. We are all not perfect. Everybody has something that they've got to work on. Mine happens to be. Where's the tears? Where's the tears? Don't see any. She's wiping away tears that never came. My patience and me getting frustrated and yelling. So anyways, love you guys. As typical with situations like this, other videos have begun to resurface. And maybe that's the reason, you know, she said everything happens for a reason, maybe that's what it is. So people can start to look into you for the crook that you are. Here's one of them. Let's take a look, shall we? So I yell, basically. Every once in a while, Scarlett's maybe got three spankings in her whole entire life and she's almost six, okay? Huh? What we talk about that's gonna start happening if you don't listen? Mm. Huh? What would you do to your babies if they didn't listen? Hmm? What would you do? If your baby said, what would you do? Hmm? 
What would you do? I don't know. Would you would you pop them? Yeah, Isn't it? Oh it's the shark. It's wow. it's well, that I did like a little deal with them. And so she's on TikTok live. Random people, strangers are commenting and watching the video, and she's talking about how she's going to pop her daughter if she wasn't listening to her. She's saying this on a TikTok live. And then somebody off in the background says something about, oh, this is really great. And she goes, yeah, isn't it? I did a deal with them. You only got that deal because of your daughter, because you're exploiting your, the hell out of your daughter, and people want to see her. This person is fing gross. So there's that clip. And then there's another one. Are you ready for this one? There's another TikTok live, by the way, which by the way, I think you can pay to be a subscriber to. No, I don't have time to do that. Your brother's gonna do it in the car. Get in your seat. Now, let's go, come on. Love you. Can you say hey to everybody? Oh my do, you, do you know where your brush is? Huh? I don't wanna be in there. I don't wanna be in there. Okay, tell everybody bye. No, it's okay. It's okay. Hey, all right. Bye. She doesn't want to be on camera, so we got to go. Bye. Sorry. It's okay. If you don't want to be on it, that's fine. All right. Here. Bye, y'all. Let me just kind of break down what you just saw, which is very shocking. Again, once again, they were doing a TikTok live stream once again, which once I, I just, I personally cannot understand why you would ever have a child be part of this. I really, I can't. They were doing a live stream and she wanted Scarlett to be in her seat. Okay, I'm presuming this is to like do her hair and do like a typical video that they would film in front of the camera. She always does these videos in front of the camera, but she's always trying to like sell the brush. So she asks her, where's your brush? And I'm just assuming, okay, this is a legend, that she's looking for the brush where she can link it and sell it. Cause it's like, all this lady does is try to do affiliate links and sell things. Which by the way, I don't have a problem with people selling stuff and doing affiliate links. If you're not exploiting your child, by the way, let me just make that distinction. So what was crazy about that, is Tiana did not realize at the point of filming that, was that her phone camera was pointed in the direction of a standing mirror in the background, which showed her mouthing angrily to her daughter off camera, basically where she thought no one could see her. You can see her gesturing to Scarlett. Basically, she wants her to do, do something, but she doesn't want to say it on camera, but she's going like this, like that. Like, she's angrily sort of gesturing like that. Scarlett tearfully replies that she doesn't want to be in there, so I don't know if she like doesn't want to be in the room or she doesn't want to be in the video. I don't know what it is exactly. But this clearly makes Tiana agitated, right? And Scarlett immediately starts crying, as you can see. Then Tiana comes over to end the video and flippantly tells the viewers that Scarlett does not want to be a part of it, doesn't want to be on camera. And then she like angrily shuts off the camera and makes a face right before she shuts off the camera. Like she doesn't want to be on camera, so like that, like a nasty face. Yeah, we got problems here, guys. We've got problems. This is not the first time, and I'm sure it won't be the last time that this person does this, this mother does this. This situation is sadly another example of the reality that these exploited children face when they do not cooperate with their parents' sick and twisted social media agenda. These children are being treated like puppets in order to generate more money and views so that their parents do not have to work a regular job or do anything remotely difficult. Yeah. So their, their kids can work for them, actually, is, is what it translates to, layman's terms. This all comes at the child's expense, of course, forsaking their privacy and putting them into danger of creeps, predators, and weirdos on the internet. Also, their parents can get some social media clout. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? There is no limit to what these people will do for more money and more followers. It's extremely disturbing when videos like this surface where we get a glimpse behind the scenes of their lives, okay, and their reality. It confirms many of our suspicions as well that these children are being forced into compromising positions and are being worked around the clock for content. With so much filming, linking, editing, and monetizing, it begs the question, how much time is left for these kids to actually be kids? I wanna leave you with that today. Think about that question. So anyway, that is all for today.
this person and I hope that their TikTok gets taken down. I really do. So anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like it, please subscribe for more videos like this one. I have another one already in the making actually. So please subscribe if you'd like to see that one and leave a like if you liked it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.